Today we're looking at the TCL 30SE. This is an unlocked GSM phone, so it should work on T-Mobile or AT&T networks. This one's pretty affordable as well. I'll leave current pricing and more information in the description of the video down below. This phone was sent over to review on the channel, but all the opinions in this video are my own, and this video was not reviewed before posting. <laughs> It's got a 6.5 2 inch HD plus display, 20 by 9 aspect ratio, 720 by 1600 resolution, triple camera setup there in the back with a 50 megapixel main lens, then a 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth lens, 8 megapixel front facing camera, and it's got a 5000 milliamp hour battery. This one's got 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a MediaTek Helio G25 processor. You can also expand the storage using a micro SD card and then 128 gigabytes of storage also comes in two different colors atlantic blue or the one shown here is space gray also has a fingerprint scanner right there on the back inside the box you're going to get a usb-c to usb-a charging cable wall adapters included with this one they also include a clear tpu case so that's always nice to see plus you've got a screen protector as well quick start guide, safety and warranty information, SIM card and micro SD card removal tool. Pretty nice design here on the back. As you can see, it actually looks a little different depending on what kind of lighting you have. Fingerprint scanner in the center. A small TCL branding on the back as well. Power and volume buttons there on the right hand side. Headphone jack there on the top. Charging port and speaker there at the bottom. SIM card tray is there on the left hand side. Overall, pretty nice build quality with this one. This one also has face unlock. When setting up, it gives you a couple options here for the lock screen. For the navigation as well, you can choose gestures or button navigation. You can also choose the button order there as well. Unfortunately, it looks like this is only 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is quite a bit slower than my five gigahertz Wi-Fi. This phone's currently on Android 12, right out of the box. April 5th, 2022 security update. The software on here is just a little bit different than what you may be used to. It's got this little side bar here where you can add shortcuts sort of like on Samsung devices and it lets you customize it just the way you like and if you don't think you're going to use that it also gives you the option to turn it off swiping left to the home screen you're going to get the Google discover news feed currently it's using about 23 gigabytes of the 128 so not too bad I would say up in the notification shade, you've got several different things here, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, media, brightness. You've also got shortcuts for cutting, rotate the screen, flashlight, do not disturb, next vision. You've also got mini notification, dark mode, uh, location, screencast, battery saver, data saver, screen recorder, nearby share, device controls, eye comfort mode, one-handed mode, and hotspot as well. If that's not enough, you can also edit this. They've got four other things you can add on there as well and you're going to get your recent apps here at the top and then down below is all of your apps on the device you can actually put apps in sort of like a hidden folder you'll notice if you swipe up with two fingers and hold for one second you can watch youtube videos up to 1080p resolution sd playback resolution for apps like netflix i gotta say though for a 720p display stuff on here actually looks pretty good much better than i expected the viewing angles may not be the best and it could be a tad brighter but overall yeah the screen quality on here actually looks pretty good it's not going to be the most powerful phone out there but pretty comparable to other phones in this price range and it still feels fairly decent just moving around the software doing most normal day-to-day -day stuff this phone also has pretty good gaming performance however i did notice a small glitch where you can see the bottom of the water in pubg mobile not sure if i've seen that issue before but playing games like asphalt 9 apex legends mobile actually were pretty good in my testing now battery life on this phone is actually really good. We're talking over 10 and a half hours during my battery drain test at 100% screen brightness. And that's right up there just under some of the phones with the best battery life that I've tested on the channel. So plenty of power to get you through a couple days of normal usage, especially if you turn the screen brightness down.
Unfortunately, you only have one speaker here down at the bottom, but I feel like it's probably loud enough for most people. Let me give you a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Inside the camera app, you're gonna get stuff like auto, video, portrait. Also gonna get shortcuts here for high pixel, stop motion, light trace, super macro, movie, video as well. And then you're also gonna get up to 1080p resolution for video recording. As you can see, not gonna be the fastest shutter speed out there, but the quality doesn't look too bad, especially for a more affordable device like this. And you've got quite a few different built-in filters here as well. Here's some quick photo and video samples just to give you an idea of what to expect. Sure if you can see from these samples, but the cameras on here are pretty decent. Not the best, but not the worst. Sort of average for this price range. As long as you have good lighting, you can get some good results. And you'll notice the video recording quality on the rear cameras is definitely better than on the front. But hopefully this video gave you a little closer look at the new 30 SE from TCL. I've got a lot of other phone and tablet comparisons to do on the channel. So you'll definitely want to look out for those. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.